This is a beautiful math book. I mean, look how pretty this is. Plain and Solid Geometry by Schutz. This is the revised edition. And I actually got this book as a gift for free. So I am super, super excited to take a look at it here with you in this video. Plain and Solid Geometry. Wow, the cover, by the way, is like rough. It just feels really, really nice. I just got to give it a whiff here. Just, oh, it's like history in my hands. So this is a book that people used in the past to actually learn geometry, right? If you think about it, when this book was created, there was no internet. People would go to the library, they would check out books, and they would sit down with a piece of paper and a pencil, and they would work on geometry from a book like this. So that's something that we can still do today. Let's open it up. Revised edition. Let's take a look here. Wow. George C. Schutz, or Schutz. Instructor in Mathematics, State Normal School, Whitewater, Wisconsin. Looks like it's signed there, 9516. So 2016, maybe someone used this. Or maybe, yeah, I mean, it looks like a date, right? But I don't know. I, I don't know. Oh, is it a date? And then here's the copyright. 1912 and 1913. Oh, I guess it is a date. I guess this could be 1916, right? Because we're so used to seeing, I'm so used to seeing 16 and thinking it's 2016. But no, no, that, that is not the case, right? Um, it could be 1916 there. So September 5th, 1916. Uh, it's probably, that's probably when this was signed or written on because there's the copyright. Let's take a look at the preface. In this revision, the suggestive features of former editions have been retained and that his hope improved. The principal value in the study of geometry lies in the power developed by the individual student in working out as much as possible his own demonstrations. Right, right, right. So what it's saying is that you basically want to work out the problems on your own. And this is true for any math book. I mean, as much as I'm a fan of having answers in the back of the book because those are helpful, you can check your work um, with a book like this. Uh, with any math book, you really, really, really want to you know, do your own work and work things out on your own. I just have to smell it again. I'm sorry. Oh, incredible, incredible. So notice it says sample copy. Let's talk about that. I believe that's because perhaps this was given to the professor uh, as an evaluation copy. Nowadays, they call these instructor's editions. And over the years, how that is designated on the book has changed. Like you can see here, it just says sample copy. I have some from the 80s that are like stamped and will say like for instructor use only. Now they're not stamped anymore. It'll just say like warning, you know, instructor use only. So yeah, I guess back then they just put sample copy on there and stamped it. Here are the contents. Okay, so you can see what it contains. And this is supposed to be, you know, a book for beginners, right? So in theory, anyone can buy this book and, and start learning. Physical solid. Any material object is a physical solid. For example, a block of wood or a ball. Okay. Geometric solid. A limited portion of space is a geometric solid. A block of wood is a physical solid, but the portion of space occupied by it is a geometric solid. Two reasons are suggested for this definition of a geometric solid. First, geometry is not concerned with the material of which an object is made, but with its size and its shape. Second, such solids can be made to coincide in whole or in part. Then it defines surface. That which has length and breadth without thickness is a surface. This is a really cool book, right? You can sit down and you can read and you can learn. I like how it's all numbered. It's all like very, you know, in order. You just go through, you go through each number and there's examples. So, you know, you just write down the example and you work through it. There's more here. And it's just a very linear, very linear process. And it says here, um, there's some exercises here apparently. Because you get to 37 and then you have some exercises. Let's look at number two. Read nine pairs of adjacent angles in the above figure. Three, what is the sum of angles X and U? Of angles Y and V, of angles U and X, of angles Y and X. 
We have some more. Really nice. Really nice. And then we have some symbols here. Symbols and abbreviations that you would use in the study of trigonometry. So I, I feel like trig is something that perhaps um, people who are watching this video, like if you're in high school, maybe it's something you're studying. If you're in college, at least in the U.S., geometry, sorry, not trig, I misspoke. Geometry uh, is not something that's typically taught in colleges. Um, typically, high school students are the ones who study geometry. In college, you might study geometry if you are like a math education major. That's typically something math education majors take. They'll take a, a more advanced course on geometry, like a 4,000 level course for their math education majors. But math majors are typically not required um, to learn geometry in college. I just got to give it another whiff here. It's just, ah, the pages seem to be very good quality. Uh, I feel like this book has been just, you know, been sitting for a long time, perhaps since since 1916. Right? That could be that could be the case. And here we have it in our hands. I, I think it's impressive how they have all of these images and pictures that they've drawn. Like this is before the era of computers. Is there an index in the back? Let's check it out. There is. This is useful as well in case you're looking up certain things. It's good to have uh, a reference book. So if you don't have a geometry book, I think this is definitely one uh, to consider. Um, I don't know if this book is available today. I, I I really don't know. I'll look for it. If I can find any copies, I'll leave a link in the description, but pretty sure it's out of print. It might be one of those books that's so old it's free. I don't know. Uh, I'll look, uh, but that could be the case. So if I find that it's free on the internet, I don't know if it is, but if it is, uh, I'll, I'll try to leave a link in the description as well. But yeah, I don't talk too much about geometry books in this channel, but I wanted to show you this one because it's really old and it's just like a piece of history, right? This is a old school book, Plain and Solid Geometry by Schutz. If you found any value in this content, by the way, subscribe if you want to. If not, that's okay too. Also, if you want to learn math, I do have courses. They're on my website, mathsorcerer.com. They're actually on the Udemy platform, but if you get them, use the link from my website because I've lowered the prices. You'll always get a low price if you click my links. Plus, it helps me. Anyways, um, hopefully you've gotten something out of this video. And if you take anything away from this video, it should be that geometry is a subject that really anyone can learn, right? It's taught in high school, sometimes in middle school. And you can learn it by sitting down with a book like this, and a piece of paper and a pencil, and just doing a couple problems a day, even just one problem a day, Sitting down and reading, um, you will learn a lot and you can take your learning to the next level with this stuff. But yeah, beautiful book. One more sniff. Ah, Plain and Solid Geometry by Schutz. Again, this is the revised edition. Yeah, really nice. Look at that. I wonder what that was. I mean, that was probably some type of like, I don't know, coffee? Could be coffee. Look at that. So old. Wow. You wonder how many people uh, this book has helped and where it's been all these years, right? It's just a really interesting book. I hope it's been helpful. Keep doing mathematics.